What is up everybody? It is your boy Roger to 5 here and welcome to this game. This is called Realm Royale and I wanted to play it for you guys today. This will be my first time playing it on video and I've never played it for a live stream for a video like this before. So we're gonna try to hop on, get a quick game in, get a dub, and satisfy the audience. So we're gonna play a quick game real quick. If you guys don't know this game, it's like a battle royale game. You run around, shoot people, fight to the death. If you die, turn into a chicken. You get three chances to turn into a chicken, but if you get killed while you're a chicken, that's it. Your game's over. If you don't get killed while you're a chicken, you respawn, come back, try to fight, and yeah, that's basically it. So, should be a lot of fun. Here are my three emotes. My three emotes. My three emotes are equipped right now. So, you also have daily quests, and my reward here will be 20 crowns, which is currency for this game. If we can catch a dub in this video, that'd be great. Hopefully a first game go, so I don't have to record for super long and waste a bunch of storage on lost games. But either way, you're going to watch this. You're going to enjoy it. Go down below, drop a like, a sub, drop a comment. Let me know if you like this game. And yeah, we're going to continue doing these gaming videos. I enjoy them. You enjoy them. So let's run it. We're going to open up the map. And yeah, I usually like to go here because it's a small town. Great loot for one or two people. So, and it's usually not really contested, and if it is, I'm pretty good at this game, so you know, I'm gonna shit on whoever shows up. But we're hopping out now. It's usually best to jump out early, because, you know, obviously if you jump out earlier, you can land earlier, so, yeah. This is basically my favorite place, because it's like a cute little town, has good enough loot for a person, or two, you know, if you're playing duos, or something. Land on this ledge. That's pretty much the best spot to land, is on this place. And I think I just heard somebody. Yep, I did. Alright, so this guy is now chicken, and you can one-up hit him, and he's dead. Also, another great perk about this game is you get infinite ammo. Like, what other BR allows you to get infinite ammo like this? You just press reload. You go ahead and do that, and I can pop this armor. And, if somebody opens a chest, you can open it too. It's not just based on one guy opening it. So, like, if you're a duo, you can very easily, you know, optimize the amount of loot you can get. Alright, well, this guy, I've already knocked a decent bit of his health off. He's chicken now, so hopefully, I'm pretty sure when you're a chicken, you got, like, 15 or 20 seconds until you respawn. So yeah, another guy down. Alright, so we got two kills already. Like I said, you boys are pro. So be prepared. And usually when you get when you land, don't be scared to push a fight because one thing that happens is your opponent might have nothing. Like if your opponent has nothing and you don't go fight him, you're basically just asking to lose. Because it's what other way can you like how can you fail if you have a gun and they're running around hopeless so charge your fight as quick as possible so you can take you know so you can you know just reduce the chances of yourself getting killed as easy and then once you clear out the town you just come back in you know I, I every time I hear one of those noises I can't tell if it's a person so that's the problem though with the sounds it's a little confusing you might think there's a person nearby but there's not so always, you know, always keep an eye open because you never know when somebody might just poke out and, you know, try to kill you. But yeah, like I said, a rune is this healing increase. So basically it increases your healing. So it's like a power. Like I said, you can, you know, get the runes as certain powers. And yeah, if you hear that, like, ghost sounding noise, it's most likely a person. So always, like, when you hear that little, like wind rustling sound you know pay attention because there might be somebody nearby that you might have to fight like that sound i th i don't think that's enemy noise but it could be because like when i first started you guys seen i heard the noise i jumped out the window chased the guy down and killed him because i heard that noise so it could be an enemy maybe i just don't see him or maybe i just it's not an enemy but it's always you know it's always better to be safe than sorry so keep your eyes open when you hear that noise and um yeah, I'm going to try to optimize my looting route. It seems kind of hard to do, so. CC protection. 
crowd control and knockback. It reduces the effect of crowd control and knockback by 75%, which, you know, it can't hurt to pick it up. Not exactly sure what any of that means, but, yeah. I'm just going to pick it up because it can't hurt. I swear, that noise, it just keeps seeming like somebody's near me, but there's no one around here. And yeah, you always want to try to loot and get out of there quickly. Don't spend time hiding and you know being scared because if you fight and you lose, yeah, it might suck. But if you die in the beginning, the it's not as bad in. as you die in like second place or something. So dying in the beginning is better so you can hurry up, get out, restart the game and come back. Because when you die, what's going to happen? You're going to die. You're going to be like, ah, oh, damn it. You're going to come back, respawn, play the game again. So it's always just, you know lower risk high reward or if you go fight somebody so do it if you can my loot seems pretty good um there's this mechanic called forging if you go to one of these areas with the like gold piece then you can forge it like you can use your shards which are those like yellow diamonds you see in the bottom left corner i have 222 of them which means i'll be able to forge quite the amount of items so i'm gonna head over to a forge try to also like this place crossing is a very big highly populated place so try to stay away from those places if you can you know you always you you can't always so you might lose a few games but crossing isn't really one of my favorite places so I tried to stay away from it and reduce my amount of times going there and also if you see a guy shoot at him because he ha probably hasn't seen you yet and you need to shoot his ass and get him get him gone as quick as possible but the zones kinda far away and I could probably get away with forging in there but I'm gonna try to head out to valley only because you know I'd rather just not take the chance of the zone coming by before I get done forging so I'm gonna try to forge armor potions and health potions and a weapon that's usually what you want to go for in your first forge then you can focus on your other abilities and runes and weapons and shit like that in the future there's a guy down there now I know for a hundred percent chance he did not see me so I'm gonna try to post up behind this rock if I can because there's a pretty good chance he didn't see me. He might hear me coming in, but that's okay. I'm going to try to crouch. Oh, that's not the crouch button. I'm going to try to crouch up and wait for him. Wait for my ability, my flying ability to fill back up. That way, if I have to use it to get away from him, if he's a good player, then I can. Because I accidentally just wasted it. But I'm just going to wait for him. I'm going to try to crouch walk up to him because I think, yeah, he left. Alright, I'm not going to fight this guy, only because I'm still trying to forge. My weapons aren't that good. Mid early game, fight everybody. Mid game, you have to forge and try to get your weapons better. So don't just push everything if your weapons are like gray like mine. You also got to think about your loot and your chances of winning. And mine aren't that high right now, so. I'm going to try to forge. Oh, I hear shooting, so I can probably third party this. But this guy has a really good gun, I can tell. So I'm going to try to sneak. Alright, so now I'm going to try to cover. Alright, this guy definitely isn't a bad player, but he's not that good either, so... I probably have a decent chance of winning this. I'm going to try to just keep the right hand peak, like uh, every other BR game, and try not to force myself to rush him, because, you know, you always want to try to get your opponent to come towards you. Uh huh. Just like this guy. There we go. Alright, so. Yeah, that was definitely risky. That could have ended a lot worse. Um, yeah, this guy did throw the fire at me. Some of his loot went up there, and I'm not going to try to loot him real quick because I still got to heal. Um, I'm gonna try to go back out and grab more of that loot in a second, but yeah, try to if you're trying if you're starting to miss, don't panic like I was starting to panic, like I was hip firing, that's risky. I ADS, took my time, and I killed the guy. So that's what you need to try to do instead of panicking. Now I got the better loot without even having to forge. It's not the best loot for my character, but it's still some good items. I can't tell who's making all that noise, so I'm gonna try to just hide right here. And wait till I see something. 
I do hear hammers being thrown. Yeah, I hear hammers being thrown, and the hammer is a really like strong weapon. So I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna try to you know force myself to fight this guy because he does have the hammer, and I'm not sure if this crossbow is. It's really not the most optimal weapon to be using as mage because the crossbow is more for hunter and I'm not hunter right now so it's better to just stick with weapons that match your character and you'll be way better off winning I haven't been able to forge yet it's kinda my fault that I wasn't you know optimizing my time but I'm trying to kinda go slow and play the game out so I can teach you guys how to win you know but usually I would have tried to for forge within the first couple minutes of the game um, especially fighting people early on and collecting their shards and disenchanting their items that you don't need and getting a bunch of shards to forge with but basically I'm just gonna focus on getting into zone and holding high ground I can't climb up this mountain I'm gonna try to go around side but if I can't climb around the side it's fine because it's not even in zone but it's better to just hold people out of zone before going in that way you can reduce the amount of people you have to fight later so try to zone hold if you can if you can't it's not the end of the world but like here I'm gonna try to fight people off first before coming in you know like before just rushing in see like this guy he couldn't even tell where I was going and that guy was a pretty decent player as of earlier but he could I just got the high ground on him I took the advantage point or the vantage point or whatever they call it um, I took advantage of my position and was able to kill him before he even came into zone now the zone will be rushing other people out and I have to start getting there but see I optimized my position you know and I got high ground so I was able to zone hold that guy that way I don't have to fight him later and the less people there is in a bigger zone, that's better. Because you don't have to focus on people in a tight location. And people running up and getting you in the back. So, what I did there was really good move by holding them out. Now, I think I've got edge of zone right now. That way, no one could sneak up on my back. You know what I'm saying? Like, say I didn't kill that guy and he came up and got me in my back. That would have sucked. But now, since I killed that guy, there's no chance of somebody running up on my back. And even though I'm pretty certain about that, I'm still watching my back. Just because it's always better to be safe than sorry, like I said earlier. So, always try to watch your back. But if you are pretty certain you killed people, then try to focus on inner zone. That way, you don't get hit from the front. You know, you always kind of have to be doing circles. Because somebody could have a lot of heals and healing potions and, like, healing runes, like, increased healing. So, they could be having a lot of heals in zone and then just sneak up behind me even though I think they're gonna be dead alright so now that we're in late game um, I'm gonna try to stay here as long as I can and just hold the edge of zone because I got decent amount of kills and it's not always the good idea to go for high kills you know if you're trying to be better then yeah when you start the game if you're just starting go for kills don't just sit back and win because if you sit back and win Sure, you got the win, cool. But did you really get better at the game? No, you might have like two kills and win the game. And that could just be a lucky, a lucky, um, just a lucky win, basically. So, just because you win doesn't make you a good player. So, go for kills all the time at first, and then try to like set back and get the dub afterwards. Like right now, I'm not going to force myself to go fight because I don't really need the experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not worth me fighting everybody when I don't have to. See, now since I waited, I didn't have to I didn't have to risk being one of those past four people that died. I can worry about the next four people and be done. But I'm still going to hold the edge of zone so I don't risk being teamed on, you know what I'm saying? Or like getting pinched, because that's not good. I'm still trying to stay high, but watch these people. Oh, I don't want to get hit by zone. You don't want to go too slow because the zone might come and get you. Everybody, I'm pretty sure, is out in the middle of the map by now. Three other players. I'm going to let them fight it out. Try to third party the last two people. Again, if you're trying to get better, don't do that. Just go fight them. And even if you die, it's fine. But I'm just trying to, you know, trying to set back, you know, relax and get the dub. And show you guys how it works. But if you're just starting, go for the dub. Go, or I mean, don't go for the dub. Just go for the win.
And also when you're fighting, use your abilities like my fireball and my healing thing because those are going to help you the most. Now there's two other people. Hopefully I don't get seen. I don't want to get seen or fight right now. Because I'm, again, like I said, I'm going to sit back and get the dub. So I'm going to try to pinch. I'm going to try to pinch the last two guys. Now I think someone just shot a bow. And I don't know if it was at me or not. So I'm going to be really cautious. And make sure that no one's seeing me. Yeah, that guy definitely didn't see me. He's definitely fighting someone else right now. Yep, there's a guy coming up now. Yep, okay, so he doesn't know I'm here. Alright, so I dealt a little bit of damage. I'm going to keep high ground because that's the best position. Alright, what I just did right there was wrong. You never want to just jump out in the middle of nowhere. That was my fault. Perfect. Alright, so that guy was on his last chicken. And this guy's dead right here. This guy just got up from being a chicken, so he's probably low. I don't know where he is, so this could be risky, but I heard him, like, balking, if that's what they call it, so that would have been the perfect chance to win the game, but it's okay. It's always okay to also, like, set back and just take your time and win the game. Like, I might find a better position later that I can take, and this shotgun is going to be really powerful, but... I'm not close, and I don't want to get too close just in case, because I don't know what the other guy has. I don't think he's seen me yet, but if he has, I want to stay behind the tree, because I know he's in the center. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know he's in the center right now, but I'm not exactly sure where, so I'm going to stay at the outside of the map, so at least I know he's not behind me. And he can't be up here, I'm pretty sure, because I heard him down here but you never want to be certain about anything unless you know unless you've seen it like I don't think this guy's up here but if I were to be certain about that and then lose then that would suck so don't be too certain unless you've seen like even though I heard the guy making noise down there as a chicken I didn't want to be like not safe I guess oops I shouldn't have done that that was not worth it but hopefully this guy won't be good now he could still be up here so unless you see the guy, don't make assumptions. That's a pretty good tip alone. Just don't make assumptions. Alright, I hear him. And he's coming up now. Oh yeah, and also, the shotguns are perfect for chickens. Sorry guys. Now he's dead again, so like, he got too confident and now I'm up next to him. So if you get chicken, don't be too confident because that guy got too confident. He was like, oh, this guy didn't kill me. He's bad at the game. He's not going to be able to kill me. He got too confident and now I'm up next to him. So if you get chicken, don't be too confident because that guy got too confident. He was like, oh, this guy didn't kill me. He's bad at the game. He's not going to be able to kill me. So he was wrong about that. He came by. He had no more health because the chicken didn't give him much health. So, yeah, basically, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it taught you how to win this game. If you want more Realm Royale in the future, let me know and I will make more. Thanks for watching, so I very appreciate it, and peace out.